Don Bosco, we want to learn, live and lead. A pleasant evening to everyone present here. Most distinguished and esteemed guests of the day, Mr. Ajay Sini was a Deputy Collector of Velu, Reverend Father Rector, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, Brothers, Special Invitees, Members of the PTA, Past Peoples, Teachers, Parents and My Dear Students. With immense joy, I welcome you all for the 11th Annual Day celebration. It gives me immense pleasure to present before you a brief yet a significant account of various events, achievements during the previous session that propelled us further in the direction of our mission and vision. There is a great saying, real education fetches you more than a job. It gives you and teaches you how to live. It cannot be measured in any tangible way. As we share the yearly update of our activities, we take the modesty to say that we did our best to do as we are planned and we are proud of our students and teachers who strive hard to achieve beyond expectations. We have focused on the holistic development of the student. Aiming to be a school power excellence, we have not left any stone unturned to achieve nothing but the best. The management of the school comprises of Reverend Father B. Michael, the Rector and Correspondent, Reverend Father David Mudiapan, Vice Rector and Headmaster of Don Bosco High Secondary School, Reverend Father Arake Das, the Principal of Don Bosco Metric High Secondary School, Reverend Father Sebastian, Dean of Studies and Assistant Headmaster of Don Bosco High Secondary School, Reverend Brother Lucas Gomes, the Administrator and the Director of Don Bosco Rural Centre, Reverend Father Maria Selwyn, the Spiritual Director and Reverend Brother Kupu Savari Arokipurian, Brother Francis Amalavanan, and Brother Moses Jayabalan. Staff. We thank Reverend Father John Santosam, who served as Vice Rector and Headmaster of Don Bosco High Secondary School for the past five years. We thank him for all his support and care that he showed towards our school. We are very happy to welcome Reverend Father David Mudiapan as our Vice Rector and Headmaster of Don Bosco High Secondary School from this year. We wish him all the best. We are also very happy to welcome Reverend Father Sebastian to our institution as Dean of Studies and as Assistant Headmaster of Don Bosco High Secondary School. Brothers Priyan, Amal, Jayapal also joined our Salishan family. We thank and appreciate the following staff who were with us during the last academic year and left us for various reasons. Ms. Axelia, Mrs. Patima. We have also included Mr. Sindhil Murugan as our teaching faculty. We are happy to welcome Mr. Arik Raj as our office staff and Mr. Praveen as our bus cleaner. SPL, ASPL, captains and vice captains. The whole school is divided into four houses with teachers as house masters and students as captains and vice captains. Master Gerald Victor of 12A was elected as school people leader and Master Jane Naveen was elected as assistant school people leader. The general discipline and activities of the school is maintained by the SPL, ASPL, four house captains, 16 vice captains under the supervision of PT masters, Mr. Kallarasu, Mr. Suresh and Mr. Jay Krishnan. Academic, spiritual and value education. We stand for excellence and strive towards the best. As a result, we have regular classes from 8.30 a.m. with reading practice classes up to 3.45 p.m. and special coaching class up to 4.30 p.m. for weaker students and sports practice up to 5.30 p.m. Every week, each standard takes up the responsibility of conducting the school assembly comprising of Bible reading, news, significance of the day, thought for the day, thirukural, proverbs and abbreviation, followed by hymns and prayers and birthday wishes. Every Monday, the national flag is hoisted by the management with talks every Friday the school flag is hoisted by the staff with talk and all other days students give good morning talks and also in the afternoon to excel in their stage performance. Besides that to enable the communication we have 
SMS system that helps parents and teachers to be connected. We as religious priests and people of God do our best to inculcate the spirit of prayer which is an integral part of our culture. Hence, every 24th of every month, prayer services are held after the assembly. Holy Mass is celebrated on all first Fridays for Catholic students and teachers and moral classes and seminars are organized for the non-Catholic students. The first hour of each day is allotted for value education and catechism classes which guide the pupils to acquire correct values and develop holistic attitude in order to achieve a harmonious blending of spiritual values and secular knowledge. 10th and the 12th standard students will be taken to Acharapakam to invoke the blessings of Mother Mary. Tuesday, 31st May, a seminar for teaching staff was held in our school on 26 Secrets of a Successful Teacher by Mr. Mark Anthony Sequeira, Spoken English. To excel in spoken English, each student is provided a printed sheet which is put into practice during the reading practice session. This has helped in the drastic improvement of spoken English among our students. Hindi. This is taught as a third language from 3rd to 8th standard. We follow the textbook prescribed by Dakshin Hindi Prachara Sabha. Last year, 30 students of standard 5 to 8 wrote the Prathmic examination on February 14th. Four of the students secured first class, six students of fifth standard, five students of sixth, seventh and eighth standard secured second class. This year, on February 5th, 102 students of standard six to eight will be sitting for Prathmic examination in our school itself. Achievements of the year 2016-17. Academic performance. Don Bosco Metric High Secondary School is not an address, but a unique education mission for creating honest believers and upright citizens of our country. Our strategies and methodologies provide ample opportunities. We work with notion that students have multiple pathways to grow. I am proud to announce the names of the students who projected our school as well grown up and established school in a short span of time through their performance in the third higher secondary board examination and sixth SSLC board exam. The third batch comprising of 101 students appeared for higher secondary examination and 54 boys passed with first class and 47 second class. The pass percentage was 99%. Master T. Ajit scored 1,075 out of 1,200 and stood first in the school. Master E. Rufus Billigram scored 1,036 and stood second. Master P. Celestin Raj, 1,021 and stood third. All the 104 students who appeared for SSLC board examination passed with flying colors. The overall pass percentage was 100%. Master N. Karthik Rajan scored 488 out of 500 and stood first in the school. And he also scored centum in social studies. Master A. Divakar, 478, school second. Master J. Yeril Saranen, 475, school third. Master Sandeep Kumar K., scored Centum and Social, and Master Mohammed Abrad CA scored Centum and Maths. The academic performance of an institution is a yardstick for gorging its stature in society. We take this opportunity to congratulate the students for their performance and best wishes for a bright future ahead. Hearty congrats to all the teachers of 10th and 12th who left no stone unturned to prepare them all along in a special way to achieve this result. This year, we have installed Smart Board in all the 10 classes of Standard 1 to 5 at the cost of rupees 25 lakhs. Teachers were trained to use the interactive Smart Board system. This year, we are educating the primary section through e-learning. Clubs and Functions It is not enough that you teach the students, but it is equally important that you elicit from them what they possess. Hence, to enkindle the knowledge and enthusiasm of our students, we have introduced various academic clubs and sports clubs. Students are given an option to be a part of any one academic clubs and two sports clubs. Academic clubs. We have 10 academic clubs, namely Tamil Association, English Association, Bosco Science Club, Bosco Philatelic Club, National Cadet Corps, Junior Red Cross, Scout, Bosco Media Club, 
Bosco Leaders Club and Bosco Social Club. Science Club. On July 28th, Rotary Club of Velur, in collaboration with Nalam Medical Center and Hospital, conducted an awareness program on diarrhea. Dr. Narmada, a child specialist from Nalam Hospital, was invited to create an awareness of ORS to students of 6th and 7th. On Friday, 30th August, Reverend Father Mudiyappan, the headmaster of Don Bosco Metric High Secondary School, inaugurated the science exhibition. Three teachers from Snegadibam Matriculation were invited to judge the exhibition. 111 members of Science Club from Standard 6 to 11th participated. The winners were awarded class-wise. On 19th of August, 10th, 11th and 12th science students visited the science exhibition based on anatomy and physiology held in Axelium College. 16th October, 44 students of Standard 6 to 9 took part in the science exhibition conducted by Electronic and Communication Department of VIT in their campus. Udaya Kumar B, Donald Melvin C and Santosh Kumar R of 8th standard were awarded the first prize in this category. Scout. We have 60 students enrolled in the Scouts movement. There are two troops. We have the investiture ceremony in June for our boys guided by Master Kishore from Don Bosco District of Scouts. Mr. Jaipal and Mr. Raj Shagar attended the camp in Chennai regarding basic courses and also Scout Master training camp in Yelagiri for 10 days. This year we also will be hosting the Scout camp in our campus and around 500 students will be participating in this event from 3rd to 5th February. NSS 25 students of 11th standard are enrolled in the NSS. They help out in the various activities of the school. They keep the surroundings clean and tidy. The campus will be held in the month of February under the guidance of the NSS coordinator, Mr. Joe Sarvanen. NCC. Under the able guidance of ANO, Master Jai Krishnan, NCC functions throughout the year. Every year, 25 students are selected from the 7th and formally enrolled in NCC only in the 8th standard. Total number of cadets are 50. First year, 8th standard 25 and second year, 9th standard 25. Every Wednesday evening and Friday morning, they have parade in our school campus. From 21st May to 30th May, 10 cadets participated in Thalsanik Republic Day Selection Camp at VVNKM School. Best Cadets Award was given to Sedu Madhavan of 9th B. On 21st June, 50 cadets participated in yoga on the International Yoga Day at Axelium College. 23rd December 2016 to 1st January 2017, 15 cadets participated in the combined annual training camp at VIT. Cadet Pradeep Raj of 10C was awarded as the best cadet and our cadets batched the first place in group songs. Lokesh Vishwa of Standard 9th was awarded the best in turnout and S. Lokesh Kumar of Standard 9th as the best cadet. Thursday, 26 Jan, 25 cadets were given a certificate for completing the junior division course. Tamil Chelvin of Standard 10th B was awarded the best cadet for 2014 and 16 batch. 20 students participated in the 5th state level competition held on 23rd October at Velur. The following students were awarded. S. Tarun of Standard 2nd A, Naresh Kanna of Standard 2nd A were the winners and the runners were P. Joy Analita of Standard 2nd B, K. Janardhan of Standard 2nd B and V. Yashwant of Standard 5th A. The runners won were S. Tarun of Standard 2nd B, S. Praveen of Standard 5th B and K. S. Gopesh of Standard 5th B. The runners too were Adam Smith, K. Ashwind, 
R. Sujit from Standard 2nd B, H. Bharat, N. R. Manu, R. Jerry David, Umesh, uh, B. Umesh Reddy, A. Gladson Geo from Standard 5th. Sports Club. The following clubs are functioning in our school. DB Football, Basketball, Hockey, Cricket Academy, Table Tennis, Shuttle Club and indoor games like Carom and Chess are a part of Sports Club. All students should compulsory choose to be a part of at least two clubs. This year, we have Junior Basketball for Girls. The 11th Annual Sports Meet was held on Saturday 6th August. Mr. Santa Mutuvel, Para-Olympic Gold Medalist in Discus, presided over the meet and distributed the prizes. Achievements in Sports Athlete Master J. Dayalakumar of HC participated in Discus Throw and stood first in all the levels, zonal, districts and division, second the state level and he also will be participating in the national level competition at Nasik on 6th February. Short put first in zonal and district, 600 meters first in zonal and district, 400 meters second in zonal and district. Master K. Abhishek, 8th B, 100 meters first in zonal, third in district, 200 meters second in zonal, Long jump third in zonal, high jump third in zonal. Master S. Ajay 8C, 100 meters second in zonal. A relay team comprising of Dayalo Kumar, Abhishek, Ajay and Vignesh, first in the district and second in divisional. Master D. Sanjay Kumar, 8B, 80 meters hurdle, first in zonal. Master K. Anishrad, 8A, discus, third in zonal. Master A. Arvindraj, standard 10. 1,500 meters first in zonal, discus second in zonal, 800 meters third in zonal. Master S. Jackson, standard 10, discus throw first in zonal. Master Vijay, standard 10, 200 meters first in zonal. Master G. Gautam, standard 10, 400 meters second in zonal. Master Gokul Nitish Kumar S., standard 12, short put first in all the levels, zonal, district and division. Discus throw, first in zonal, second in district and division. Master P. S. Reason, standard 12, 100 meters, third in zonal. Master P. Bharatraj, 110 meters hurdles, third in zonal. Relay super team comprising of Sasindran, Vivek, B. U. Yerilan and V. Dhanush Kumar, second in the zonal level. Selvi A. Sangeeta, 7th A. Discus throw, first in zonal fourth in the district. Games. Shuttle. Yuvraj and P. Santosh, zonal level doubles winners. Leshma S. and Janet Rani Shalom, zonal level doubles winners. S. Rafael Bernard and E. Kishore, district winners in doubles. E. Kishore, district winner in singles. Football. Super senior, winners in zonal, district, division and participated in the state level tournament. Winners of VIT Rajeshri Trophy, runners of Father Castroli Trophy, football junior team, winners in Inter Don Bosco School Tournament at Sagaya Thottam. Basketball, junior, winners in zonal and district, under 14 category, district level selection for girls took place on Saturday 7th January at Netaji Stadium and four of our players namely A. Sangeeta, S. Sveta, H. Monisha and S. Sonia were selected. Extracurricular activities. We must open the doors of opportunity, but we must also equip our pupils to walk through these doors. To develop the talents of children, a number of opportunities and facilities are provided. The spirit of creativity and innovativeness are brought out through various co-curricular activities, drawing, painting, craft work, dancing, singing are conducted regularly. We also celebrate in a fitting manner the important feast and memorable events during this year with cultural program. Sunday 12th June, observance of World Day against Child Labour organized by Adacia's Dream Foundation in India, essay competition was held. Monday 20th June to Friday 24th June, First dose of Nilavembu Kashayam was given to all the students to prevent dengue fever. Tuesday, 21st June, Yoga Day was observed. 
50 NCC cadets took part in it at Axelium. Thursday, 23rd June, debate for students 6th to 8th. Monday, 27th June, investor ceremony was held. Friday, 15th June, through Kamaraj's birthday was celebrated. Wednesday, 21st July to 27th July, inspection by Adhyan team. Wednesday, 27th July, first death anniversary of APJ Abdul Kalam was observed. Saturday, 30th July, took part in rally opposing to natural educational policy 2016. Monday, 1st August, visitation of Reverend Father Besanes, SDB, Councillor for the Mission. Saturday, 6th August, 11th Sports Day, Chief Guest Paralympic Silver Medalist in Discuss, Mr. Santa Muntivel. Eighth, Saturday, 8th August, Nursery Sports Day, Chief Guest Dr. Narmada, a Child Specialist. Friday, 12th August to 14th August, IFT Inter School Football Tournament was held. Monday, 15th August, District Level Chess Tournament was conducted. Independence Day Celebration. Chief Guest Mr. Narayanan, Inspector of Vardhambad Police Station, presided over the function. Tuesday, 18th August, Annual Visitation of the Provincial Reverend Father Jayapalan. Saturday, 3rd September, Teachers' Day celebration. Each teaching and non-teaching staff was grouped into four and various games and events were conducted. Later, all the staffs were given prizes. Saturday, 10th September, Charity Day was inaugurated by Reverend Father Rector V. Michael. 3rd October to 6th October, second dose of Nilavim Kashayam was provided to the whole school. Saturday, 15th October, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam's birthday was celebrated. Wednesday, 26th October, Community Day was celebrated. Monday, 14th November, Children's Day celebration took place and all the students were given gifts. Saturday, 3rd December, the Silver Jubilee of Final Profession of Reverend Brother Lucas Gomes, Director of DBRC, and Silver Jubilee of First Profession of Reverend Father Sebastian, Dean of Studies, Don Bosco Orphanage, and AHM of DBHSS was celebrated. Saturday, 10th December, Christmas was celebrated. Program was conducted by Standard 1 to 5th. Reverend Father Rector blessed the crib and delivered the Christmas message. The program came to an end with the distribution of cake, balloons, and Christmas cap. Sunday, 18th December, Every year, teachers contribute rupees 1000 each and non teaching rupees 500 each for Christmas. Rupees 50,000 was donated to the orphanage and each student of the boarding was given a gift. Thursday, 22nd December, family Christmas celebration took place in our school premises. Teachers conducted the program and each family was given a gift and dinner was provided for all by the management. Friday, 13th January, Pongal was celebrated with joy and each child was given sweet Pongal and a piece of sugar cane. Thursday, 19th January, Road Safety Week was observed. Our school students participated in the inter-school essay and drawing competition conducted in our school by the officials of RTO department. 23rd January to 27th January, Third dose of Nilavembu Kashayam was provided to the whole school. Sunday, 27th January, farewell for the students' 12th was held. Each student was given a memento by the management and each teacher was given a gift by the outgoing students. The farewell came to an end with lunch party. Thursday, 26th January, Republic Day was celebrated. Mr. Pandian, Inspector of Virdhamet Police Station, hoisted the flag and took salute of the march past, followed by the program by the NCC cadets. The chief guest honored the cadets and issued a certificate to 25 senior cadets. Excursion. Today, taking children for outdoor experience has become a rare phenomenon. Consequently, many schools do not encourage due to rules and fear. But we, with belief in God, he, that he cares for us, provide excursions for every standard to strengthen their friendship and help them to understand each other. It not only relaxes their mind, but also provides them educative and informative experience. 
1st of August, LKG and UKG went to Periyar Park at Vellur. 31st October, 4th to 8th Standard went to VGP Snow World and Clip Art Museum. 2nd week of April, Standard 9th and 11th will be taken on an educational trip. Adhyayan is an education movement. Indian and international educators dedicated to improving the quality of leadership and learning schools. In four years, Adhyayan has reached out to 135 schools and impacted the learning of 1,84,676 students across the country. Mr. Spokey Wheeler, along with six educationalists, evaluated our school from 22nd July to 28th July. The program was for six days. It consisted of orientation day, self-review day, external review day, quality dialogue day, and action planning day. And I'm proud to say that only to our school, Adhyayan Quality Standard awarded the B plus grade. Conclusion. Before concluding this report, I bow my head in reverence to the Almighty God for the blessings He showered upon the institution. The Bible speaks of so many wonderful leaders and how God blessed them for their work. There are many verses and scriptures that God spoke to encourage men and women who choose to step up and lead. So, we, the school community, while basking in the glory of our success, do not sit on the achieved laurels and tirelessly work to touch the zenith. At the same time, we wish to correct the shortcomings of the past and try to fare better in the future. Today, we look forward with the same sense of hope towards greater growth and progress. I thank our Chief Case and Guest of Honor for willingly accepting my invitation to be with us this evening. I am grateful to Reverend Father V. Michael, Director and Correspondent, for being the sole force and motivator. I extend my thanks to all other members of the Salishan community. I would like to thank Mrs. Prema Rajendran for the constant commitment. Thanks to Sister Sabina for the follow-up she does in the KG section. Thanks to Mr. Maria Joseph Raj, our supervisor, for his meticulous planning. Thanks to Mr. Joe Saravanan, our academic coordinator, for organizing all the academic programs. Thanks to Mr. Sprema Silvi, our program coordinator, for the planning and execution of all the programs of the school. Mr. Suresh Kumar, our sports organizer, for following sports and discipline. Mr. Vijay, our place organizer, for the sincere service in accounts and for assisting in all the non-academic works. Thanks to the Section Vice Coordinator, Mrs. Priya Sella, Mrs. Sherin, Mr. Susil, Mr. Aisha for the able assistance. Thanks to the sisters, brothers, DBYC volunteers and members, PT executive members, well-wishers and my loving teaching and not ministry faculty who stand as the backbone. Oprah Winfrey says, for every one of us that succeeds, it's because there is somebody there to show you the way out. The light doesn't necessarily always have to be from your family. For me, it was from teachers and schools. The school shows the light the student needs. We are the light for you to be the channels of change. Thank you. Long live Don Bosco.